Hi everyone! I'm sure by now you guys have all heard about Cricut's new release, their 24-inch cutting machine, Cricut Venture, and the docking stand. I was, I was able to receive one early from Cricut in order to test it out and learn how it works and then to show you guys how it works. Um, it is definitely a learning curve to go to this machine if you have a different machine uh, or a different Cricut machine. Um, but in general, uh, this is, you know, more to learn. So I want to show you guys how it works. Okay, so I'm going to start with the stand. The stand has these static free baskets. Um, so as the material comes out, you have this one and there's also one in the back. I'll move it around and show you guys. Um, but these are anti-static on the inside. So if you're like me and you have pets or um, you just have anything dusty around your house or anything like that, you get this anti-static and it protects it from all the pet hair. Everything in my house is covered in pet hair. So this protects it. Um, I'm going to just turn it a bit. So you can see here, there's these straps. Now those are in case like say you have children and they like tugged on it. Um, this prevents it, this would just snap right off. Uh, I have a video that I'll show you guys later uh, and it will snap right off and this whole thing isn't coming down. So this, these are gonna separate. And then there's these little like here for you guys and then there's hooks underneath so you guys can see I have my mats hanging you have mat hooks you are getting um, these are new mats you will need to purchase new mats you, they are performance mats you have 12 by 24 and 24 by 48 and you'll get the blue light grip the green standard grip and the purple strong grip the 12 by 24 come in a two pack and the 24 by 28 are single but you guys will see um, there's still you know, blue, green, and purple, but they're different shades to help re help differentiate. Um, the other mats just were not strong enough to stand up to the force of this machine, so uh, Cricut made new ones. Now you'll see back here, I have my power cord in the machine, um, and then you have your roll holder on the stand here, uh, and that's really it about the stand. While I have them, oh, I'm sorry, the wheels, they have locks to lock them in place. I'm also going to lift this up carefully and show you guys that there are little notches here that go into the bottom of Venture to dock it on there. So you guys can see it's very, very sturdy. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to turn it to the other side and we'll start talking about Venture itself. I am going all over my power cord here, so I'm going to pull it up. Okay, so Venture was designed with the home crafter in mind. Most crafters have limited space, so the docking stand came in, but in case you don't have room for the docking stand or say you just don't want it, Cricut did a 45 degree angle design for the machine. So it is designed to sit at the edge of your countertop or the edge of your table and really have that angle of things. So as I go through the machine, you'll see how the functionality is made for that. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to talk to you guys about what comes in the box. Okay, so you have the power cord, which I already showed you, the power buttons on the back, and then you're going to get this little box here. So you have, this is a roll holder in case you don't get the docking stand and it attaches to the back of Venture. These here are going to be the guides for where your vinyl um, rolls go. And then the rollers are here are going to help you feed that in. You're also going to get a USB cord and USB-C. So if you have a Mac without an adapter, you can do this. It is also Bluetooth, um, which mine is hooked up to, but I did have some trouble with that. So if you guys, and I have Windows 11, so if you guys have any issues setting it up, please let me know and I will tell you what worked for me. You are also going to get the mat support. So as we get to the part 
where we I show you guys the mat support. This is an additional support if you're using heavy materials on a mat like poster board or anything like that. I am so sorry guys, my battery died, <laughs> but I am back. All right, so now we're going to start talking about the features of the machine. Okay, so you have, just like your Maker 3, you have your load, your play, and your pause button over here. This light is your like indicator. Um, if you're connected, it will turn blue for Bluetooth, white if it's just connected regularly. This is your mat support button. So this is where your mat support comes out. And if you are using a mat and you need to um, remember to put it out, it will blink for you. It's fantastic, I loved that. Um, so you're going to have the um, these guides right here. You have left, middle, and right. So if you wanna cut 13 inch smart materials, you're going to do the left and the middle. And if you're cutting 25 inch smart materials, or using a larger mat, you're going to do the left and the right. Now, you're going to see on this bar, it might be hard to see for you guys, there's a two here and a one here. So if I'm doing 13 inch smart material and I have these guides up, it's going to tell me to make sure that these are on, this is on the one. Now you're going to see, I'll show you guys plenty of videos coming up, but you'll see in Design Space, it will show you pictures of everything. It's very step-by-step, step. it's wonderful. So you go ahead and move this and listen to it click into place so you know. Um, that's very important because you will get a warning. I had moved this one um, over by accident and I kept getting a warning and I couldn't figure it out and oh my gosh, <laughs> I finally did. Okay, these right here popped up with the mat support because this is where as you load your mat, that's going to hold it up before it starts cutting. Now, once you turn the machine on, you're going to hear vacuums, and the vacuums are going to, you see all right here, and they're up here. Those vacuums are going to suck that material in, whether it's smart material or on your mat, it's going to suck the material or the mat in place, so it really holds it, and it's going to cut. Now, once you're ready to cut, you make sure this bar is up. Once you're ready to cut, you're going to close that, and then you'll be ready to go. Now. If you are doing the mat support, you need that bigger support, you're going to get these three pieces. So this one here, you can see attaches here, but it's going to slide down and it fits in here. It slides all the way in and locks in place. And then your supports just on the side here, slide right in. It's super easy to put together, so easy. Um, and then you can just slide this whole piece off if you want to take it apart, you can. If you don't, if you have the room, it's up to you guys. Now, if you are done with your mat and you want to cut like smart materials or something, you're going to put your mat support down. But say your bar's up and you go to put the mat support down and it's doing this. I learned the hard way that it has to be closed in order for you to put your mat support down. So keep that in mind. I'm going to lift this up. Um, you're going to get this uh, manual cutting tool for your smart materials. There's a groove, so if you're left-handed, you can start on the left. If you're right-handed, start, or if you're left-handed, you start on the right, um, whichever way you want to. There's grooves on both sides for you guys, so that makes it super easy um, for no matter what hand is dominant for you. So you just slide it in here, and you slide it across. Now this is included with your machine, and this little like hole cubby for it is very, very snug. But should you lose it, it's a $9.99 replacement. Um, but you can also get my favorite, the Auto Blade. Um, it goes into clamp A. So what you do here is open clamp A and this pen adapter comes right out. Um, you might think you're gonna break it. Just be really careful, you won't. Um, and then this notch right here yeah, that notch right there lines up with that notch there and you clamp it into place. And then when you go to your settings, uh, there's an option to toggle on auto cutoff. 
Um, I personally love this. It is a $19.99 purchase separately, but it is separate. So you can see how you like the manual one. Um, I know a couple of people who also have the machine and they said that they don't have the auto blade and they don't think they're missing anything. So it's really personal preference. Um, I love it. <laughs> um, now that adapter that was in there is going to ensure that you can still use your scoring stylus in any of your pens and markers from the Explore and Maker machines. So do not worry, you can still use all of those. But Cricut also is releasing um, permanent markers and they're two and a half millimeters. They're much bigger because they are designed for a bigger machine. So that adapter will come out for the pens too, uh, or for these markers as well. Now, I think I covered everything except for one of the most important things, and that is that every 100 hours, you're going to need to clean your machine. Yes, Design Space will prompt you, but if you feel it needs to be done sooner than that, you can. If not, at 100 hours, it will prompt you. Now, you get a cleaning kit inside of um, the box underneath those roll holders and your USBs that I showed you guys. And so I'm going to quickly go over how you're going to clean it. Oops. So the brush here is for your sensors and your rollers. You're going to just get a little thing of rubbing alcohol, dip your brush in there, and then it's going to prompt you in design space to press the play button. It will blink and you move these and you're just going to carefully, very carefully, you're going to clean these rollers. They're going to spin for you so you can get all angles. And then you're going to clean this little sensor here and the sensor up there. But you're going to do that with this lint-free cloth. And then with the lint-free cloth, you're also going to put that in alcohol and put it on to this right here. It clamps on on the top and the bottom. It has a really nice little grip. And this is all included because it is necessary for the maintenance and longevity of your machine. So just go ahead and you'll clean and you'll unclamp it. You can move the carriage over and do the same on this side. But like I said, Design Space is going to prompt you. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I am so excited. Um, oh, also I wanted to mention to you guys that this machine not only cuts larger, but it cuts faster like a lot faster. So I'm going to be doing videos on that because it's really, really, really fast. Uh, and honestly, a video doesn't even do it justice. You have to see it to believe it. All right, let me know if you have any questions.